Welcome to Excel Problem Solvers. This is a set of examples of how you can use Excel in solving real-world problems. Problems that are too complex to solve with a regular calculator or to solve in your head. So we're going to look at Susan and Tim. Every time we get a new page in this booklet, we're going to see that they have a different task. And so here's what we're going to do for each page. First of all, we'll listen to Tim and Susan and tell us about their problem. We'll build a spreadsheet with proper formulas. Now I'm going to show you a partial solution for each of these solutions. We're going to create a spreadsheet with a little bit of a design, but I'm going to assume that you've already done some Excel work and so that you can finish this with a little bit of collaboration with your friends and a little bit of thought. And then finally, every one of these solutions will have a graph. It'll be a bar chart that will show a comparison. So let's see what these different problems are. The first problem we're going to look at is a school shopping list. And so Susan has a lot of things to buy. And she has three different stores to shop at. Tim also has a shopping list that's slightly different. The second problem we'll face is, should we buy a cat or dog? And so we'll look at all the different costs associated with buying each of those. The next problem that Susan faces is that she wants to take a vacation. And so we're going to give three different options, either a Caribbean cruise, Orlando, or Chicago. Tim's going to do the same vacation, but he has a different number of people. The next problem is that they're going to purchase printers. And so there's three different kinds of printers to choose from, and the cost of ink for each is different. Number five is more complicated yet. We're going to untangle the cell phone bill. Number six is where we're going to choose from three different cars, a very economical car and a luxury. In this first Excel problem, we're going to go on a shopping trip. And so we have a shopping list. Susan says, I'm Susan. Would you help me pick one of these three stores to buy my school supplies? Here's my shopping list. And so to the right of the shopping list, you can see all the items that Susan would like to buy. Her choices are Walt Mart, Dollar Trap, and Office Repo. Each price is listed below, and then her number of items that she would like to buy are listed on her shopping list. So for instance, three ballpoint pens. At Walt Mart, it's going to cost her three times 50 cents, or $1.50. Now this is a large, complicated shopping list with many items, so this is a perfect way to solve a problem using an Excel spreadsheet. Inside the Excel spreadsheet that we're going to create, we need to add a list of all of the items in the shopping list, and then a column for each store. And so pause the video right now and type these in just as you see on the screen. Next, let's go back to the shopping list. Each price listed at each store has to be put into the spreadsheet, and then put them into this column under Waltmart. Pause this video until you have the numbers typed in. Now you might say, these look like dollars, so let's make a dollar sign each of them. Let's open the currency, add a dollar sign. Let's add the prices for Dollar Trap and also for Office Repo. So pause the video until you have all the prices listed for each of the stores. Now I'm going to help you a little bit further with the problem, but not completely. Let's start by looking at Susan's shopping list. For each item, for the ballpoint pen, we know how many she needs, such as three. And so I copy down the number of items that she needs. Now how would you figure out the amount of money that she would spend on ballpoint pens? Let's put that formula right here. Ballpoint pens. You know that she's going to spend $1.50 if she shops at Walmart. 3 times 50. Here are some hints for the formula. In this square, which is G3, we're going to multiply the quantity times the price. So, enter your formula once you figure that out. After you figure out the first formula, you'll be able to fill down and calculate all the rest of the prices as well. At the very end, let's put in the total. And so you'll know what the total cost is for purchasing supplies at Waltmart. Repeat the same process for another column. We're going to figure out the price for the entire shopping list at Dollar Trap, and then we'll figure out the price again at Office Repo. Once you finish, you should have 
three total prices listed down here after you add up all of these numbers. Close. The last thing you'll need to do is put a chart on the graph. And so copy the labels from row two down to the bottom. And when you find the totals, like I've mentioned here, you can highlight the entire two rows, create your chart, and it will be labeled correctly. Now, for the other fellow, we're going to have to make another chart. So copy everything you get from Susan, and then you could probably move it over to column K or so, and paste all of the information. Just change the shopping list so that Tim's list will be shown instead of Susan's. Then you'll be finished. Good luck.